Hi guys, Craig and Annette from Oz Camping. We've had a couple of questions recently about our generator and whether or not it would run our air conditioning. Um, and I had to admit to a couple of people that we haven't actually used our air conditioner yet. Um, haven't had the need to. Uh, we quite enjoy the, the warm days. Uh, and we don't run it as a heater because we use our, our diesel heater for that. Um, but it's not a great weekend this weekend. We didn't go away, so we're parked on the road here out the front of our house. And I thought we'd do some tests and just double check what's happening with the air conditioner, how much it draws and what you're going to need to run it. So at the moment we're sitting here on 12 volt. Uh, I'm going to pop outside and start the generator and it might uh, restart the video when I'm doing that. And then we'll come back inside and we'll see if we can run the air conditioning. So this is our Chromtech Outback that we showed you in our off-grid power setup video. Um, we've had this for a couple of years now and it's actually been really good to us. Um, I would definitely buy another one and it's half the price of a Honda. So uh, if you're not using a generator every day, I think it represents really good value for money. Um, we just make sure that the vents are open on the fuel cap. Make sure that the switch is on here. And... Normally I use the choke to start it first time. I didn't bother pulling it out there, so that's why it took me three, three pulls to start it. Um, but that's up and running. If I step away a little bit, you'll find that it's actually a fairly quiet generator. Um, I don't think it's any more noisy than the Honda. Um, on paper, the specification says it's the same decibel rating as the Honda. So let's go and see if we can run air conditioning on that. So back in my comfortable position now, um, the air conditioning that comes on the StarVision vans, uh, most of you will know it's an under seat unit. Quite like the under seat units because they keep the centre of gravity nice and low in the van. Um, I don't really like having an air conditioner on the roof in an off-road van. Um, I like all my weight down low. So you do get a little remote with this as well. And that's air conditioning on now. You might have heard the generator fire up there, just increases revs as the air conditioning came on. And I've got that set down to 18 degrees now. And it's only about 20 degrees in here at the moment, but that's the air conditioner on full. Doesn't sound to me like the generator is running at full speed. It certainly had no uh, trouble starting it. So that answers that question. Yes, the generator will easily run the air conditioner. That was interesting. I was listening to the, the generator and I don't think it's sped up as much as it does when we run the coffee machine. So that got me thinking. I wonder if I can actually run the air conditioner off our inverter. Now, from our off-grid power video, our setup video, you'll remember that we upgraded our inverter to a 3000 watt inverter. So I'm fairly comfortable with giving this a go. Um, we've, got, we've got plenty of inverter power there. Um, I've got my battery monitor that I'm watching at the moment. And at the moment, it's an overcast day. We're really not getting anything in from the solar panels. We're running at about minus seven watts of power at the moment. Uh, we've got some lights on and as I say, we won't be getting any solar from the sun. So I've turned the generator off. We're running on 12 volt. I'm monitoring it for safety to make sure we don't get ourselves into trouble here. And I've plugged the, I've unplugged the air conditioner from the wall plug and I've, I've put a short extension cord on it and plugged it directly into our inverter. So let's see how much this air conditioner is really pulling. So, turning on, takes a little bit to start up. Now, interestingly, the startup current is only about 11 amps. Now it's fired up and it's running at 50 amps. So about 680 watts. So that's quite interesting because that's at full speed now. I've got the fan at full speed. I've got it on full cooling and I'll put a screenshot here of, of this so you can see it, but it's pulling around about 700 watts at the moment.
so that's actually not too bad. It's about 270 amp hour of battery. Um, you know, it's not going to run it for, for four or five hours, but you're going to get two or three hours out of it. Um, you will flatten your batteries. It's not an ideal situation, but the inverter would certainly be enough to cool down the van for an hour uh, at the end of a hot day. Um, and if you know you've got a hot day coming the next day, then you've got plenty of sun to charge up. So there's the test on the inverter. I'm pretty uh, in, on the inverter powering the air conditioner and the generator powering the air conditioner. Both work no problem at all. Um, hope that's helpful to you. Remember, you need battery tomorrow, so you don't want to be running it for too long, but it does work. Catch you next time.